Hey everyone, my name is Kerry Wolf and welcome back to One Shot. So, before we get back into our co color puzzle, we gotta tell Nico that we're back. Hey, Kerry Wolf, welcome back. Hmm, that's all you're saying, huh? Okay, so. Okay. Um, how do I solve this? That's part of the test, blah blah blah. So, the hint was to change one color at a time. <laughs> and then we basically gotta verify it. Yeah, that's gonna go well. One light's correct? Huh. Well, probably gonna fail all of this. Although, when they say change one at a time, do they mean like one here? I guess that would make sense. Hmm. Uh, it's probably wrong though. One light's correct. <laughs> yeah, this is not gonna. This is not the way to solve it. Oh, two lights correct. So that is correct then. I don't know what's the first light that's correct though. Oh, maybe I should have been changing this. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Oh! Magic? <laughs> that is where we like fail. Oh wait, is every color supposed to be different though? I, that I don't know. Maybe it is. Oh, I messed it up. Well, that one was right the first time. Interesting. I'm gonna assume that each color is supposed to be different, so... Although, is there enough for a different? No. No, there isn't. Well, that probably means it is supposed to be all different colors then. <laughs> Alright, um... I forgot it already. What was it? Four lights correct. Which one though? What? Dude, that was so random. That is really how you solve the puzzle, huh? X is granted. Wow, I have no words for that. Although I forgot what I'm supposed to be doing here. <laughs> what are we here for? Oh, jeez. My robot! What happened? I don't know. I left for a minute and... And the boxes, man. Oh, please do not approach you poor robot. I don't think we can help them. Wait, what is this place? What did I unlock this for? What? Well, there's a lot of people here, though. A taller robot with a little tiny robot. <laughs> a robot. This is so tedious. I miss the good old days before our robot repairing robots broke down. <laughs> wow. Now all the robots have to be assembled by actual people. You guys are people. But aren't you a robot? No. I mean, do I sound like a robot to you? You know you make a good point. But what the hell is that on your head? Not really. But your head is a TV? What does that have to do with anything? Um, a lot? Never mind. I see what you're saying. You're not a robot, you're a TV bot. Boop. We are waiting to be repaired. Fun. I cannot stop spinning. <laughs> but it's okay, you don't get dizzy, right? These robots are malfunctioning at a frightening rate. Physical damage from square particle anomalies is almost impossible to revert. No living person can touch them unless they have a deaf wish. That is real unfortunate. But if we're lucky, sometimes the squares go away on their own. Really now? But not before taking away one of the robot's arms or legs. That's real messed up, dude. Or head. Okay. <laughs> Nico's like, I don't want to run into that. A robot. Okay. I can barely keep my eyes open, man. How does Dr. Silverpoint get all that energy? Who are they and where are they? It's a bookshelf. The shelf full of little machine parts and tools I don't recognize. None of us have been sleeping very well in light of recent events. The square particles took out a few of my robots last week and... And? She fell asleep <laughs> while standing with a cup of coffee. Coffee machine is almost empty. Okay. The machine parts. Dude, what is that on your head? Hmm. I wonder what the author would do in this situation. Dr. Silverpoint usually referenced his works. Uh-huh, Dr. Silverpoint, you say? Hello? Is this Dr. Silverpoint? They look kind of like that robot! Oh, shoot! If I had known you would be here so soon, I would have turned off the darn lock. Hello there. Sorry about the weird security measures. It's okay. Kiari Wolf helped me solve it. Did they now? So... Can I help you with anything? Yeah. Do you know how I can get a library card? A library card? This must be Dr. Silverpoint. You'll have to ask the library for that. I know, but I asked and d that person, that head librarian is just not available. I tried. I needed to see the head librarian, but I can't get to see her without a library card. I know, these 
freaking loops. But at the same time, she's the one who gives out library cards. Really? Huh, <laughs> that sounds like Georgia, right? I'm sorry, car, on a bad day. Aw. Wait, I know. I can just give you my library card. It won't be hard for me to get another one. Wow, thanks. There, you're all set, I think. Wait, shoot. I forgot the front desk library bots have facial recognition? Wow, so how do I get your face then? And my photo on the card won't match you. Unless I tape a photo of my face to your face. Or maybe we could just take a photo, tape a photo of, you know, Nico to the card. I think I feel that works. Um, that was a joke. Who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky and the robot won't take it anyway. I doubt it. Worst comes to worst, you can always find somewhere to take a photo. That's what I was thinking. Okay, I guess that's the next step. Something is poking out from the shelf. It's a tube of glitter glue. Ah, for the picture, right? You can have that if you want. Never know when you need to glitter things up, right? Oh, are you sure? Yeah, I have tons of those. Thank you. Interesting, interesting. Bookshelf. More machine parts. So... You've been walking all over the world, huh? Hmm. Jeez, I can't imagine. Okay, are you Dr. Silverpoint? No one ever introduces themselves, and I'm getting kind of, kind of sick of that. Do you get really tired sometimes? Kinda. But you know we take naps, so it's all good. But I don't mind. It's actually really pretty. Haha. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. Even with the sun gone, the world is still a beautiful place. What did the world look like with the sun? Oh. Uh... You know, it's kind of embarrassing to admit how little of it I have actually seen. Oh? Ironic, isn't it? Even though I'm the world's leading researcher, all I do is stay here and build robots. They're the ones exploring the world. I just write down the data, crunch numbers, generate graphs. Right. I've been seeing robots everywhere. I just thought it was because the world was too dangerous for most people to explore. That's not far from the truth, actually. But I know someone who still does his research firsthand. Is it the author? Oh? Even after segments of land started collapsing and access to the more remote areas became difficult. I mean, he outright built a machine that could fly. Something we all thought was not physically possible. Oh, that's... I asked him about working with us, so he provides us with all sorts of insights from time to time. But for some reason, he really didn't want to build robots. Or more specifically, coding them. What? Maybe they're the real god of this world. How come? Beats me. I mean, he's happy to work with robots. In fact, he even... Uh, it's been a while since we last talked. He must be busy with his books now, yeah. Yeah, th like the book I'm holding? That you're not... Referencing? Okay, so... Are you familiar with this thing? Oh. Th that's... How did you get this? It's totally you, right? That's your robot. This robot lady in the barracks gave it to me. I mean, you look kind of alike. She look kind of like you? I see. You see? Sigh. It was supposed to be such a breakthrough, you know? I even base her on myself, so I'll know it works. Breakthrough? We wanted to build a robot that acts like a person, thinks like a person. A robot that isn't bound by its own code. Well, I think it worked, and that robot is very lonely. Oh. But turns out, you can't really build something like that. Too many contradictions in the code made her unstable. That was the only time I've ever seen a robot go rogue. Scariest day of my life, tell you what. Is that why you guys exiled her to the barons? Rogue? But... She seemed so nice when we talked. Even if she talked a little weird. Uh, she's been repaired for some time now. My friend was able to stabilize her volatile state through his own means. A real miracle worker, that. After he was through, she ended up turning out just like how I wanted. But, di but the damage was already done. I gave up on her back then. We all did. I'm sure she realized that. And now she won't ever come back. She won't even answer my letters. Oh, uh, okay. So she exiled herself. I'm sorry. Ugh, sorry for rambling. You should hold on to that amber, okay? I will. Hmm, okay. So anything else you can interact with here? I don't know. Kips? Hey, you're Dr. Silverpoint. 
The name says Kip Silverpoint PhD. Okay, cool beans. You want to see my light bulb? <laughs> Don't overwork yourself, okay? Okay. Your journey is just as important as your end goal. Cliche, but true. All right, Dr. Silverpoint. Gotta continue my journey oh, finding a uh, camera, I guess? The Barry's engineer just reported another sighting of the particles in the cliff area. Well, nothing unusual at this point. That word was unusual, actually. <laughs> unusual. I'm picking up some more disruptions in Sector 8 of the city. This is consistent with our earlier findings. Not good at all. I'm not good at all. Monitoring, monitoring. Uh, monitoring what though? There sure are a lot of computers here. And they look important too. Ugh, those squares particles just took out two of my robots in the glen. We might have to put off the water analysis project for now. Oh, those water sampling robots? Those were yours? Okay, I guess we've been everywhere here already. Okay, dokes. Time to find a camera, probably. Oh, I never noticed this building. What? What is this? <laughs> it didn't do anything. There's a slot here. Looks like paper or something might come out from it. Is this a freaking camera? Because it looks like you stand here and you take a picture, right? Huh, but what is it missing? Can I still use this? It's still here. Slot paper... What? Oh. Wait. Crap, was how you do this? <sighs> I don't know. Was I supposed to see this somewhere? Okay, guess that wasn't a recommendation. He just dropped on the ground, that's funny. <laughs> Wait, hold up, what's the recommendation? Where did I get these from? I don't remember. Ah, crap. I bet it's back of the house or something, right? Then... Oh man! Crap. Where did I get these from? I can't remember. Here for your photos. Actually, yeah. I need to take a picture for reasons. Well, I got good news and bad news. The good news is that the other that the photo center is right behind me. The bad news is that it doesn't work, right? Huh, you're catching on quick. After operations ended in the barrens, this place got shut down. All the engineers lost their jobs and became street vendors. Maybe Chaotic Wolf and I can figure it out from them. That's good. It will certainly help out people with expired IDs. Hmm. Like me. <laughs> okay. Wait, so you guys are engineers? You used to be one of the camera engineers, right? The camera? Oh, joyous memories. We went through thick and thin together. Hmm, thick and thin, you say. But which one comes first? And by that, I mean the concave lens. <laughs> uh, thick and thin, you say. So you're saying it has to be thick and thin first, right? Interesting, interesting. Can you tell me how to fix the camera? Hmm, it's been a while. I'm pretty sure that the boji lens goes on one of the ends, but I forget which. Boji, I guess, means concave. Or thick, I guess. I don't know. Wait, so thick and thin. So probably thick and then thin? But then what about convex and concave? Which one goes which? Engineers. Ugh. Engineers and their cryptic talk. Is there anything you remember about how to work the camera? Let me see. When arranging the lens, make sure that the thin lens is positioned between the two curved ones. Oh, interesting. Curve, so, but which one is first? Curve is concave and convex, right? Curve outward, curve inward. Are these actually, like, accurate with how cameras work? Because I have no idea. So, let me talk to this person again. Thick and thin. Thick and thin. Thick and thin. Concave lens did. Went through thick and thin. What? <laughs> Am I supposed to understand what that means? Okay, so I think the thick one probably goes on the end. Not sure which end though. And then you said the thin one goes in between, right? Curve inward, outward. Don't know, man. I'll just put this here and then... Outward, inward. I don't know. I'm just gonna wing it.
Yeah, that's not right. <laughs> okay, I'm still gonna put this here. But then maybe I'll switch these. Yeah, that is not it. Oh wait, no, this is supposed to be between these, right? Oops, my bad. So... Um... Hmm. Maybe I'll put this here then. Oh, huh. worked it out. All right, so, so I just stand here and take a picture. Cha ching. Uh, cheese. But we didn't even like set a timer or anything. Ouch, my eyes. Oh, okay. Convenient, I guess. The ultimate selfie. It's a photo of me. Are my eyes always this big? That's why they say you have cat eyes. Okay, so now we have a f not a cat <laughs> photo of Nico. I'm gonna uh, combine that with the glue, I guess. The back of the photo is covered in glue and glitter. Wonderful. F uh, photo of Nico Sticky. Let's combine that with the uh, library card. The card has my face on it now. Yay! Done and done. Dude, I fixed it. You wanna take a picture? Kitty Wolf and I fixed the camera. Aw, oh, sweet. Okay, you guys gotta take a picture or what? <laughs> Somebody congratulate me. <laughs> Smells kind of okay. No, okay. No, no, no. Okay, all right. Let's go back to the library. So now we have a library card. All right, dude. Authenticating barcode. Exe execute executing facial recognition. Photo match successful. You're good to go. Have a nice day, Miss Kip. Haha, <laughs> I'm Doctor Silverpoint. <laughs> Maybe I should have changed the name. How would you change the name, though? Just right over it? Yeah, that sounds plausible. Oh, look at that library card. It's so weird. Looks like an old phone. Oh, that's probably where it was calling and she was not answering. It's full of garbage. Okay, should I go to this? Okay, there's nothing to the side. Small tree. I guess I should just go see the librarian then. Small tree. Whoa, what the hell is this place? <laughs> Hello? You must be the savior. I'm so happy I actually get to meet you. Okay, we gotta talk. Why do all these people got weird stuff on their head? It's nice to meet you too, miss. So, are you here to check out the archives? I actually don't know what I'm here for. I can give you a tour. Actually, I need your help. Can you tell me what I need to do next? I think I'm supposed to go to the tower? Yep. Do you know how I can get in? Nope. Ugh, librarian. Gosh, I don't think anyone's supposed to get inside the tower. I mean, there's a little room that you can go into. You know what we need? We need to find the author, get into that flying machine, and just fly to the tower. But there's no stairs or elevators or anything else. Wait, what if the 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 author guy was like the previous savior and they failed their mission and that's why it didn't work out? If you want my guess, you'll probably need Chaotic Wolf's help. I don't know how exactly. In my experience, that kind of knowledge is usually recorded in some sort of cryptic book. But I haven't read anything like that before. Sorry. Are you sure you're the head librarian? You're not really very informative. Uh... Uh, indeed. Okay, this freaking author that everyone keeps bringing up, but we never see them. We're probably gonna see them at the end. And I feel like they either gotta be... Like, some previous god? Like, before... I became the god of this world or some crap, I don't know. Or they're just like the savior. Or are they the prophet? I don't know. There's so many roles that they can fit in, I just don't get what's their deal. Because they're writing all these books, they're traveling all over the freaking place, and they seem to know a lot. And then there was also the thing where they don't want to program the robots? So what's that all about? I don't know, very very shady, but I'm gonna uncover all of this truth. Wait, what if they're the freaking person in the computer? Oh my god, I just thought of that. That annoying person that's been <laughs> giving me all these cryptic hints. I feel like it's dumb. And then when I find them, oh, they're gonna get, they're gonna feel my wrath. But for now, I'm gonna leave this video here. So thank you guys so much for watching this and I'll see you guys in the next video.